to Disney Animation. My name is Daniel. I'm from California. I'm here to tell you about how we develop some of our most memorable Disney characters here on these two big screens behind me in a really awesome 3D presentation that I'm sure you guys have never seen on two screens. In fact, that's my cue to tell you to go ahead and grab those 3D glasses. They're in a small velvet case on the very bottom of your seat, not the folding part, but way down below. Go ahead and grab them, guys. Better hurry. I'm just kidding, by the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I love my job. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and talk about one of these characters up here. So let's talk about this lizard. Dragon. Dragon. Not lizard. I don't do that tongue thing. Yeah, okay, whatever. Now, characters go through a lot of changes before we ever get to meet them in the final film, just like this guy. When they're first thinking about the story for Mulan, well, Mushu wasn't Mushu. In fact, he wasn't even a dragon. Hold it! Hold it! What do you mean I wasn't a dragon? Can you believe it? See, I'm a 100% grade A dragon. See? The... Well, Mushu, when the team first started thinking about a sidekick for Milan, well, you are absolutely nothing like you are right now. Excuse me, who are you? Daniel. And who are they? Oh. And what happened to China? Look, Mushu, I am delighted to tell you I have selected what? you out of all the Disney characters to be the you one... you saying that... I may already be a winner? No, I'm saying I've selected you to be the one to show these folks where characters come from. I know where I came from. That's easy. Perfect. See, when a mama dragon and a papa dragon... Get rid of that. Um, I should have picked Timon. <laughs> I heard that. Well, now look, Mushu, you're lucky to even be here. Yeah, right. Well, what I'm saying is, is not every character makes it to the final film. Just like in the movie Pocahontas. Did you all know that originally her pals were going to be a raccoon, a hummingbird, and a turkey? Say what? Yeah, but you know, they decided that two's a company and three's a crowd, so they had to drop the raccoon. A hummingbird and a turkey? Yep. I don't even see that working for a sitcom. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't crowd me, Paul. Well, you're right, Mushu. When the team realized the turkey really wasn't going to work out for the movie, that's when they brought back Miko's Pocahontas' as sidekick, and the turkey became an entree. Ooh, you eat the sidekicks you don't use? <laughs> Let's just put it this way, Mushu. We have some really interesting barbecues around here. Yeah. Now, anyways, uh, characters do evolve in many different ways, and, well, you're no different, Mushu, because the original story of Mulan called for Guardian to be two different characters. What? And what? See, now I know you're crazy, because these guys don't look nothing like me. Well, Mushu, that's because we didn't know you were going to be a dragon yet. Excuse me? What? I have always been a dragon. Uh, Here, let me show you. Well, you see, me and my cousin, Ellie is the dragon. Me and my baseball team, the Chunichi dragon. You play my game, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> me? Well, now wait a minute, Mushu. What does Cher have to do with you being a dragon? Well, nothing. But you think Cher would be seen with either one of those two losers? What you looking at? Okay, Mushu. Well, maybe we can have some of your old friends help you remember where you really came from. Hi, Mushu. Remember me? I didn't do it! I didn't do it! Sorry, folks. I had the volume a little too loud there. Should be better now. I remember when you were nothing more than an idea, Mushu. That's when I came in and started doing some sketches for how you might look. And you would be... Well, that's Chris. He's one of your earliest designers and had his story development for Mulan. Hey, guys. Hi, Chris. Hi, everybody. Look, I gotta go and save China or something. That would be me, the dragon. Mushu, doesn't Chris look familiar? Yeah, I think I saw his picture to post though. I guess you really don't remember Mushu, but as we developed the story, we learned that two of you was too much Mushu and too little Mulan. Remember, the story is called Mulan. Yeah, you know, I meant to speak to somebody about that. <laughs> so we kept sketching, and soon you became a dragon. Yeah, we getting somewhere. With two heads. Hey, double Mushu, double fun. Mm -hmm. Man, you fine looking. Uh, Mushu, I don't think he's talking about you. What kind of side show freaky looking thing is that? Oh boy. Mm, somebody cooking chicken. Uh, dude, your tail! Ah, yeah! Oh, 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 there he goes. Uh, you know, Chris, he's been working really hard. I think he's a little fried. I think so. I'll, I'll take care of it. Thanks, Chris. Um, yeah, thanks for making me what I am today. Confused! Lightly toasted. Yeah. So you're saying that after they got rid of all those other Mushu, they quickly decided on the mighty and powerful Mushu that is me. Well, actually, no. Okay, now you're just being difficult. Well, look, once we realized that you were going to be a dragon, well then... The next step was figuring out what kind of dragon you might be. Yeah. I know that voice. Yeah. Hey, that guy owes me money. No, it's uh, Tom, your supervising animator. Hey, Tom. Hi. My super what? 
Hey, Rushu, how have you been? Well, apparently I've been everything except the chicken and the peanut. <laughs> well, we like you as a dragon, but there are many different what? kinds of dragons. I got an idea. How about a one-headed dragon? Thank you very much. Ow! Well, since there weren't a whole bunch of dragons running around for us to study, we looked at Chinese paintings, tapestries, and carvings, and discovered that they're made up of a lot of animal parts. Great. I'm a Chinese hot dog. We learned that you should have the body of a snake, what? the horns of an elk, the claws of an eagle, and the face of... Red tit? A camel. A camel? Who was in on that meeting? And if you look at yourself, you'll see you're in the traditional S shape found in Chinese art of the time. You think this looks anything like me? What do you know about that? I was inspired by the mightiest dragons of all Chinese folklore. But to go with Milan, you had to be downside. Hey, hey, hey. I prefer travel side. Well, it was great to see you again, Mushu. Hey, give me a call. See I'll give you a call. Collect! <laughs> <laughs> you just lucky my pilot light is out. Yeah, well, hey, Mushu, there's one more big step left in creating a Disney character. What's that? Well, the animators have to bring the character to life. Now, they do that by getting up out of their seats and actually acting out some of the scenes in order to get the movements just right. Oh, these people got issues. Well, now, animators are often called actors with pencils. It's all starting to make sense now, isn't it, Mushu? Wait a minute. I know that voice. Well, of course you do. It's Pam, the producer of Mulan. Hey, That's hey, great. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, and you're my background hey, artist, and hey, my cleanup artist, my layout artist, and my coffee guy, and my personal trainer. Hey, you're looking good. Ow! Ow! Mushu, are you all right? Of course I am, because I'm an animated character. Hey! That's why we love you. <laughs> uh, you so, yeah, I can stop you up with a biscuit. That's cute. What you looking at? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Okay, well, while they're getting reacquainted in there, how about we take a look at some of our newest characters from the movie Chicken Little? Newer, but not better than me, right? Right, Mushu. Hello? Let's roll it. What? What is it? supervising animator on Walt Disney Pictures' new movie, Chicken Little. I animate the lead character, none other than Chicken Little himself. <laughs> Our story begins where the classic fable ends. Chicken Little! Chicken Little! You watch that the sky was falling? Why are you any relation to the boy who cried wolf? Having sent the town of Oaky Oaks into a panic with his story of the sky falling... It's Tar and Feathery! But he's a chicken! Just tar him then! It's less work! Chicken Little tries to move on. I wish the town would too. Today is a new day. Look, Mama, there's the crazy chicken. Yes, it is crazy little chicken. You're so smart. We don't make eye contact. Bye bye. But this time, the sky falling is the least of his problems. This has definitely gotten more complicated. Now, with the support of his father and help from his friends. <laughs> Chicken Little becomes a giant in the eyes of the town. Mr. Little is Mr. Big! That's my voice! Chicken Little is filled with adventure, heart, and laughs. I just hope becoming an action hero doesn't go to his head. Cause I'm the champion! Oh, man, I loved it! Beautiful! Two claws! Way up! I totally agree. Only one thing that would make it better. And that would be? Me! You know, I come in at the end, baby the day, win the girl. You're joking, right? Look, I'm just saying a little moose shoe makes everything better. Yeah, you would say that. All right, folks, go ahead and grab all your stuff. Oh, I got a lot of ideas here. Oh, moose shoe, the show's over.